everyone, and thank you for watching, and welcome to another episode of PALS, aka People Accepting Love and Sympathy. So, how are we doing today, everyone? Hey, B, I've got a question for you. Oh, sure, George. What's on your mind? Okay, so, I don't know if therapists cover this, but what do you know about dreams? Well, most of the time, dreams are just stories or images that our minds come up with when we are in an unconscious state. It can be anything, really. I must say, why do you ask, George? It's just... I had the weirdest dream last night, man. Were you naked at school? Ugh, I hate that one. No, not that. Yeah, come on, Jay. Wolverine doesn't go to school. You know, you better watch where you stand, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Because sooner or later, you might just slip off the edge. Hey, settle down now. So, George, when you say your dream was weird, it was really, really weird. I mean, I've had plenty of weird dreams too. It's kind of funny to think about what your mind comes up with when you're asleep, I guess. Yeah, I agree. How does sleep do that to you? I'm sorry, what is this thing you're talking about here? Slep? Is, is that how you pronounce it? Hmm, yes, I see. At first, I didn't think I could revolve a whole therapy session just around dreams, but it seems this could be a beneficial topic for all of you. Ha! In your dreams. James, that didn't even make sense. Yeah, I know. Well, before we get started, it's important to know what makes up our dreams. Dreams are more often than not based on certain emotions, fears, thoughts, ideas, sensations, memories, and so on and so forth. As far as my knowledge goes, it's still debated to this day what functions dreams serve. Huh, that's understandable, I guess. Yeah, okay, sure, but do dreams have meaning or are they just random nonsense? Well, let's use you as an example, George. What was your weird dream? Well, there I was, alone in some woods. I had just finished eating my corn dog when I had realized I was a cowboy. Darn tootin'. I walked for a while until I saw a lizard man. I think he was my uncle. Howdy. You have unfinished business. I beg your pardon? You left the stove on. The lizard man had disappeared, yet he gave me another corn dog. Ow. Yeehaw! I started making my way through the woods some more when I saw him. P P Popeye? Georgia, remember what I've taught you. Well, I don't understand, partner. Always remember to file your taxes. Aga -ga -ga -ga. By golly, I reckon. Finally, I was in an empty room all by myself. But then the phone rang. Howdy. Hello, your pizza is here? Well, I reckon I didn't order any pizza. Well, somebody did, pal. You gonna pay for this or what? Listen, partner, I reckon if you don't yeehaw on out of here, you'll be dead as a doornail. I'm oh, sorry, what? You asked for it. Ah! Didn't order no dang pizza. Besides, I got corn dogs. <laughs> So that was my dream, guys. Huh. That was a... a dream. Jeez. 
There are so many corn dogs. Yeah, were you like really hungry before you went to bed? I don't know, man. Maybe? Well, George, while I'm not specialized in figuring out people's dreams, we can still discuss it if you'd like. Sure. Good luck, though. So, does anyone have any ideas? Maybe the lizard man represents a fear of reptiles? <laughs> I fear nothing. Now this lizard man character, he said you left your stove on? Something like that, yeah. I see. Do you normally cook your own food? Sometimes sure, but it's nothing significant. Hey, I've actually heard somewhere that dreams can sometimes be about your worries or concerns, you know? But why would I be concerned about corn dogs? No, no, he's saying that perhaps some of the things that occurred in your dream may represent some real-life concerns you have. Are you concerned about any unfinished business or whatever the lizard man said? Or anything about cowboys? Yes, or even the pizza man? Guys, I'm just as lost as you are. Well, yes, I'm I'm sorry, George. I I don't specialize in dreams. It is possible that whatever occurred in your dream may have no real meaning at all. Hmm. I guess you're right. Man, I could really go for some corn dogs right now. Actually, Peter, I, I know you said you don't specialize in dreams, but I actually had a really weird dream last night, too, that I think could use some analysis, I guess. While I don't know if I can pinpoint its exact meaning, we can still discuss it if you'd like. I don't know, James. I don't know if you can beat mine in terms of weirdness. Well, maybe not, but it's still pretty out there. Well, Jay, go ahead. I mean, okay, um... So, in this dream, I was at Burger King. Well, actually, I was working at a Burger King. I was the drive through guy. Welcome to Burger King, I guess. I was doing a decent job, I think, when all of a sudden orders were coming in like crazy. Aw, oh, jeez. Thank you for choosing Burger King. Uh, hi, welcome to Burger King. Thank you for choosing... Uh, oh, jeez. I... Uh... James, we need you to bring out three billion cheeseburgers pronto. Aw, oh, jeez. Right away, sir. Customers were complaining, my boss was yelling at me, and then I started drowning in all these cheeseburgers, and eventually I... Oh, oh jeez. Uh, 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 that was about it. What is with you guys dreaming about food? I mean, first corn dogs and now cheeseburgers? James, if I may, have you ever worked at a Burger King? What? No, I... I work at a bookstore. I don't even really eat at Burger King. So, if I'm correct, James, I believe- Jay, this dream probably represents how you feel so overwhelmed to the point where you literally drown in all of your work. Huh. I didn't even think about it that way. Thanks, Ty. You know, that's quite all right. It's not like I was going to say that or anything. Okay, but like, how does Burger King fit into that? Ah, right. Uh, James, did you eat at Burger King the night before the dream? Or even saw an advertisement for Burger King? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I think I might have seen a commercial before I went to sleep. Well, James, it is possible that the recent memory of your Burger King commercial that you saw Combined with your feelings of being overwhelmed with all these objectives that you have to do, manifested itself into this weird, bizarre cheeseburger dream. You know, that would make a lot of sense. I... I 
do feel kind of overwhelmed a lot lately, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> well, that is an issue we will tackle in a future session. But first, oh, here we go. Tyler, do you have any dreams you wish to share? <laughs> I don't know. I, I hardly remember any of my dreams. Oh, come on, Tyler. I'm sure there's at least one dream that sticks out to you. Oh, I know what kind of dreams Tyler's having. Oh, what? It's probably some fantasy about Samantha or something, isn't it? Nope. Even better. <laughs> Hi, my Tylerific boyfriend. No, 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 no! Why, why would you bring that back? <laughs> Wait, Tyler, do, do you dream of me? What? No! <laughs> All right, everyone, settle down. So, Tyler, do any dreams come to mind? Any at all? I mean, I, I don't know. Well, there was this weird one I had a week ago. Well, share away. Okay, it's a little short, so... So, like, there I am, just floating in an empty void. I'm slowly dying. And? Hmm? Oh, no, that's it. Uh, nothing else? I mean, nothing else that I remember. Um, so, how did you know that you were dying? Well, I don't know. I could just sort of feel it, you know? I see. And how do you feel about this dream of yours? I don't know, man. It's just sort of there. Gotta say, Tyler, I'm getting some pretty edgy vibes from this. Oh, here we go. No, I'm serious. I mean, come on, Tyler. You're slowly floating around, dying in an empty, dark void. It sounds to me you're feeling like you're just merely existing in this world while slowly waiting for the inevitability of death. I mean, come on. That's as edgy as you can get. George, that was strangely accurate. Huh? Yes, that was some top-notch analysis right there. Huh? No, I was just trying to make an edgy joke. I mean, yes. Thank you. Uh, Ty? D do you feel that way? I mean, some days, yeah. Well, I'm sorry if you feel that way, Tyler. Just know that, for now, life is more about the journey and not the destination. <laughs> if you say so. Now then, I believe we are all wrapped up here. Now hang on a sec, Peter Piper. What about your dreams? Oh, uh, my dreams? Oh, yeah, Pete. I'm sure you've had some weird dreams, too. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't know. It may be unprofessional of me as your therapist. Oh, shut up, Peter. Just tell us one already. Oh, uh, okay then. <laughs> well, there I was, standing at a gas station. I was attending to my car when all of a sudden, there he was, the one and only. David Bowie. I stared in shock. I was frozen. He stared back at me and said nothing. He smiled, then ascended into the night sky, venturing off into the cosmos. I had never been so happy. You, uh, really like David Bowie, huh? Oh, uh, I I'm sorry. I... <laughs> He's great. Uh, when did you have this dream? Last night. Well, was it a good dream for you? Oh, yes, uh, most definitely. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what your dream represents. Yeah, the fear of gas stations. Yep, that's it.
Wait, really? No, you dingus. It's his man crush on David Bowie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Well, I don't know if I use the term man crush. I do have a strong appreciation for his work. Whatever you say, Pete. A anyways, while, like I said, I'm no expert in figuring out dreams and whatnot, I do believe that we made some excellent progress today in figuring them out. Yeah, I'd say so for sure. Yeah, I guess so. Things are definitely a bit clearer now. Wait, so what was the big takeaway from this session? Dreams are weird. Ah, right. And hey, if you aren't so sure, we can always sleep on it. Much better. Not really. Well, this has been quite the session, if I do say so myself. It's been fun discussing our dreams with each other and opening up a little bit more. Unfortunately, that concludes today's session. Thank you all. And thank you all for watching. And remember, you know, I'm, I actually don't know what to say for this bit. Just keep in mind that dreams can be weird. Sometimes they can contain something about yourself that you don't quite know yet. Whether it be your hopes, desires, anxieties, fears, thoughts, or even just memories of the past. Yes, it can be difficult to pinpoint a dream's exact meaning, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just fun to look at how strange they can be. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. <laughs> What's so funny, George? <laughs> well, since we're on the topic of dreams, it... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Shouldn't what? No, no, it, it's not worth it. Wait, I'm confused. George, if you're talking about what I think you're talking about, don't. I mean, come on. It could be beneficial to talk about. <laughs> Wait, seriously, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> James, you're making this way too easy. George, what do you mean? <laughs> All right, if you insist. So, what about our naughty dreams? George, no, no, we are not discussing that. We are not discussing that. Cut the camera, cut the camera.